You guys ready to tackle a brand new problem? If you want to code along, make sure to hit the link in the description below. It's time to pop our daily dose of code. All right, guys. This next problem is titled "Longest Substring Without Repeating Characters." A lot to glean from the question name itself, and it's been asked in a bunch of companies, not limited to Google, Oracle, Microsoft, and Amazon. So, without any further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Longest string without repeating characters. You are given a string str. Find the length of the longest possible substring in str without any repeating characters. Our input is simply a string, and our output is exactly what it says: the longest string without any repeating characters. Right here, we can see a sample input and output. Let's take a slightly closer look. What is a substring? We can't take a, b, and this e right here and call it a substring. A substring consists of continuous alphabets. For instance, A B C is a substring. A B C B is a substring. However, the question tells us that this substring cannot have repeating characters. Meaning, A B C is a valid substring, but A B C B is not. And we've got to find the longest valid substring. So, just by taking a look, A B C, yeah, it's of length three. Can we do any better? B C B, no, it's not valid. B C D E is a valid substring of length four without any repeating characters. There's only one B, only one C, only one D, and only one E, which is why our solution is four. The longest possible substring is of length four, as we can see right here. The constraints as well are pretty important. The length of the string ranges between one and ten thousand. Now I'll leave the screen open for you guys. This is a string handling problem, so just have a glance at it. Take a look. Think about it. Write it down somewhere. We'll be back really shortly. So, guys, welcome back. One approach to solving this, the so-called brute force approach, though this requires a lot of skill as well, is to compute every single possible substring. That is A, A B, A B C, B, B C, the second B, B C D. Every possible substring, just list them out, and then just calculate which of them has the maximum length. Without any repeating characters, that is one way to do it, and that's a pretty good way to do it. But we want to optimize our approach. We want to make it the best possible solution. How do we do that? Let's take a look. I'm just going to give you a hint for now. Imagine we had two pointers, both starting at the beginning. One called start, one called end. Start points to the beginning of the substring, and end points to the end of the substring in question. Initially, they both point to A. And now we move end up by one. So when we hit B, our longest possible substring is of length two. When we hit C, our longest possible substring is of length three. But the moment we hit B, we've got a repeating character. In this case, what do you have to do? What do you think the correct approach will be in order to solve it? In order to get the optimal substring? In order to get the longest substring? Guys, that's for you to figure out. Just have a think about it. We'll be back really quick. So here we are looking at the solution. Now we're going to have two pointers. Let's just call them start and end. We've already discussed what they do. Start begins at the first character, end begins at the first character. So long as we don't see a duplicate character, we're going to keep moving end up by one. Now when end hits the second B, what we're going to do is we're going to move our start to the location just after B. That's because We can't have another substring with B in it, but we can have a substring with the character after B. So we move our substring to the next B, and we're going to continue moving end. Now we've hit C, so our start goes to the position after C. Now we move to D. We haven't seen a D before. We move to E. We haven't seen an E before. So this is our substring of length four. So this is the general approach to solve it. We've got our string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to store the keys and values, which is to say the character itself 
and its respective index, its latest respective index inside a hash map. Now you all know hash maps by now, we visited it so many times. But again, it has a big O of one time complexity, a constant lookup time, which is why we're going to be using hash maps. So we start at A, character A. Now, since we're starting at A and it's the first character we're visiting, the location zero goes inside our index. Next, we visit B. Its location one goes into our index. Start is at A, end is at B right now. When end moves to C, its character is C and its location is two. Now, when we hit the second B, something interesting happens. Now, we've already discussed our start is going to point to the character after B. So we're going to take this index value. We're going to add one to it and we're going to put our start at that location. Following this, we have to update our value of B because now the old value of B is redundant. We need the new value of B, which is three. Now we're going to move end up by one again. We're visiting the second C right now. So we're going to have to repeat the same process. Start moves on to the next element. So our current C value is two. Start moves on to the next element that is three. And we update our C value to the latest value, which is four. Now we hit D. Self-explanatory, we know what to do. We've done it already. We put D inside our array and we add its index, which is five. And we move end up by one. We hit E, same concept, E inside our hash map, six goes inside our index. We move it to the end. Now that we've reached the end of our string, we terminate the iterations. During each of these steps, we're going to be computing the length, that is start minus end. And we're going to be storing the maximum possible length inside a variable called max. This max records the maximum possible string without any duplicates. One thing to note is the length of max will always be one less than the actual string length. That's because let's say our string was made up of only A's, A, 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 A. In that case, start and end would move simultaneously. So max would always be zero, but the correct answer is one. That's because A itself is our correct substring, which is why we're gonna to have to add one to max at the end. Now let's hit the coding bit. Length is initially zero. Length is going to be tracking start minus end at every single iteration and max is going to be the maximum possible length. This for loop right here is the meat of our logic. We run through the entire string, through the length of the entire string. In case that key is already present in our hash map and that value is greater than or equal to start because if it's less than start, we don't worry about it. Only if it's greater than or equal to start, do we care about it. What we're going to do is set start to that character plus one. Next, what we're going to do is constantly update the values. So if we're encountering a character for the first time, put that character and its index inside a hash map. If we're encountering it for say a second time, this statement right here will update its value to the latest value. End is i naturally. It's always going to be moving along with the i loop. Length constantly tracks the length of the substring that is end minus start. And finally, whichever length is the maximum gets stored in max. We add one to max and simply return it. Now let's see if our code works, compile and test. Here all our sample test cases have been passed. Once we hit submit, every single test case has been accepted. So guys, that's the solution to the problem. Longest string without repeating characters. If you like the way I explained it, if you like the problem itself, make sure to hit the golden trio guys. Like, subscribe and bell. Just support us any way you can. If you had any doubts, any confusions, any suggestions for the future videos, make sure to leave your comments down below. We always read them. It's been Vivek guys. I'll see you all next time.